Hey there folks, today we are taking a look at some crazily expensive professional enterprise grade VR headsets from Vajo. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Tower Tech, something slightly different today but more aligned to the VR content that we've been doing, some professional enterprise grade VR headsets from Vajo. They've released two new products, the VR2 and the VR2 Pro. And both of these headsets claim better fidelity in the screens and the picture that they present than your eyes can actually see. They claim better than 2020 vision. And they achieve in both of these headsets that through the use of four, yes, you heard me right, four screens. That's two per eye. One of those screens is an LCD that helps reduce the screen door effect, and one of those screens is an OLED which helps give the deep blacks. This is pretty unique, and I have to say if it lives up to the claims, if it lives up to the propaganda, the pictures on the websites, this is substantially better quality than even the Vive Pro, and almost certainly the Index as well. The two screens in each eye, uh, one of which uses a resolution of 1920 by 1080, the other of which, the OLED panel, is a 1440 by 1600 display, and it uses these displays in unison to achieve the better than 2020 uh, vision, um, kind of the image quality. Now, clearly, I've not used one of these headsets. I'm reading, uh, I'm reading the literature on the website the same as you can see on the screen at the moment. But if these claims are true, that really is a very sensational, very clever, very unique product in the market. It's got a dual lens design, which is designed to help reduce the god rays, um, an 87 degree field of view, which is which is okay, we've certainly seen better on much cheaper headsets. Um, but what's also interesting is it's got built-in eye tracking. Now that operates at 100 hertz, the displays of which are at 90 hertz, so it's tracking your eyes at a little bit quicker than it's updating the screens. Um, doesn't actually talk about whether it's going to use that to kind of lower the resolution of the bits of the screen that you're not looking at, um, but definitely has some use cases as an example on their website um, of tracking kind of eye movements where the eye is dwelling as it's looking through a supermarket shopping aisle. Um, clearly that would be helpful for a whole heap of other use cases, um, notwithstanding the, uh, the potential to lower resolution where you're not looking. Um, it's also got an automatic IPD adjustment. Um, I'm not sure whether that's software or mechanical. I couldn't find that anywhere on the website. Um, and all of this is making use of the Steam ecosystem. So it's compatible with Lighthouse Base Stations version 1 and version 2. You can use your Vive 1s with it. You can use your Index controllers with it. So it's very likely to have good compatibility for your Steam game library, not 100% necessarily the case, but almost certainly with a bit of tinkering will work pretty well. The Pro version also includes hand tracking. This uses something called Ultra Leap, and it is based on the, uh, the Leap Motion technology, the small devices that we've seen people stick to, uh, to uh, older generations of VR headsets. This is clearly targeted enterprises. It's designed for training. It's designed potentially for design work more and more in the automotive industry as one example. You see people starting to use uh, VR headsets to either look at the cars they've designed or actually design. There are CAD packages now where you can design in VR. The uh, supermarket dwell time on aisles example we've already talked through. Now these are pricey. The VR2 rocks in at a cool 4,995 euros. Don't forget the additional cost of 795 euros for software and support. And the pro version is 5,995 euros, again, with a strangely even higher 
uh, software and support costs of 995 euros. So that's six or seven grand, depending on whether you want uh, the hand tracking or not. So as I said, not targeted at enterprises, potentially prosumer opportunities there. You can, uh, there are links on their website to go to the shop and look at resellers, etc. But that's, I mean, let's take the index really as the kind of shining North Star of VR standards for Tether PC-based solutions today. This is six or seven times the price and I'm not going to be shelling that out. So there we go, guys, two new print, uh, professional enterprise grade VR headsets from Vajo. Uh, as always, I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Thank you